Hello and welcome back to Sweet Nothing Crochet's videos. Today I'm going to show you how to work the linen stitch using two colors of yarn. This is specifically for my uh, Vada slouch but you can actually use this for any pattern too. So when you are working in rounds you will drop the color at the end of every round. So let's just assume that uh, the pista green color here is the main color and your magenta yarn is the second or the contrast color. So we've ended one round with the contrast color. You pick up your pista green yarn. As we're working in a round, we do not need the second color to come in with us. So you ensure that it stays away. Chain one, a single crochet in the first chain one space. Chain one, skip the next single crochet and single crochet in the next chain one space. And that's your linen stitch. Chain one, skip the next stitch single crochet in the next chain one space chain one skip the next stitch single crochet in the next chain one space and this is how you go all the way around till you come to the last stitch and in that last stitch we will be joining with a single crochet uh, with a slip stitch the first single crochet right okay now we've come to that last stitch there okay chain one and you join with a slip stitch to that stitch but because this is two colors here's what we do we pass the yarn through but you drop the main color you pick up the second color and then you pull the second color through but you've pushed when you're pushing your main color you push it round the back this way so you're twisting it and locking it in this only ensures that you get a very neat finish here and your work is interchangeable both front and back of your work will look as neat because you won't see this yarn on either side right so remember when you've pulled it through the yarn the main yarn needs to go around and back of the contrast yarn and it stays on your right chain one and then for your pattern we are turning around in the Vada slouch. We turn around and then work in the first chain space, chain one, and then you go skipping the next stitch in the next chain space and all the way around like we do for a regular linen stitch. The only difference in our Vada slouch is that at the end of every round we are turning around. Okay, this was just, uh, it was just to get the um, both sides of our work looking as neat and making our um, full slouch totally interchangeable because I've always felt that when you wear headwear you don't need to really pay attention to whether it's the inside or the outside so if you keep it neat both in and out then uh, your art the project becomes totally interchangeable right and we've come to the last stitch chain one. Oh shoot did I go off camera sorry so there's chain one and then you've come to that first stitch there you drop this yarn, you pick up your contrast, you pick up your uh, main color yarn and pull the male color yarn to, through and you just have to ensure that it is locked. So when you pick it up, it's locked, chain one, chain one and turn. And then again, you go back in that first chain space, chain one, and then you go all the way around again. Okay. Just wanted to show you how the end looks. So this is where we've started. I've left this as a starter. But if you see, you can't actually see the joint on this side. And that's the point there. And I turn it around and you can't actually see the joint it is pretty much neater than most of the other finishes you see you go all the way around it's not really easy to see where you have joined it's quite 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 neat okay right so now you follow the pattern all the way till the top till you've come to that last row on the top and then you've got a finish off there right now let's just assume that you have finished and this is the top of your slouch. So to join, to bring that end together, we have 24 stitches here. 
So, um, oh, before I show you that, I need to show you how we do the reduced stitches. Right, let's do that bit first. So let's work a reduced stitch here. So we are on this row now with this yarn and you are chain one and you have a chain one space there. Now it says uh, single crochet two together in the first two stitches. For this pattern, the chain one space is considered a stitch and the single crochet is considered a stitch. So when, it, when we are told to uh, do an SC2 together between the first two stitches, it's the chain one space that you'll go into first, draw up a loop and then you'll go into the single crochet and you draw up a loop and then SC2 together over the first two stitches all right if the next space will be a, sing uh, a chain one space you work a single crochet in that in keeping with your linen stitch chain one skip the next stitch and you go all the way through till you come to your next mark stitch now let's assume that your next mark stitch is going to be here the chain space we do a chain one to skip that single crochet and then you work a single crochet two together over the next two stitches which is going to be one is the chain space and next is the single crochet so it is pull up the loop there for the first part of the single crochet two together into the next stitch pull up a loop again and through both together and you have done a single crochet two together and one reduce if the next stitch then is a single crochet uh, is a chain space you just work into that chain space in keeping with your reduced uh, with your linen pattern all right and then you go through all the way till the end and you join with a slip stitch as you always do and you bring the other color into play exactly as you would with all other rounds all right single crochet there you're going into that last chain space you're dropping this yarn you're picking up the next yarn and pulling through so you worked your reductions and you've managed to get the yarn through so it doesn't matter whether you're going to be decreasing over a single crochet and a chain space or it's the other way around it's a chain space and a single crochet just as you remember that that becomes one stitch later and then you still keep the pattern going and you still do your chain one space chain one and uh, as per the linen stitch right now we assume that we have come all the way to the top and this is the end 24 stitches that you've got so you'll have 12 single crochet and 12 chain one spaces for the end of your top right so you join obviously you will not be joining with a different colored yarn but this is just for convenience to show you how to do it so you start you can start this at any point it doesn't matter so you just bring it through at any point I keep a knot at that end only for convenience for me to hold on to but you don't really need a knot then you push the thread uh, your needle back through any one of the stitches through where you have come and you come back again in the front through the same stitch but only through one of the stitches this will lock your yarn in nice and tight so you've come through you've gone back through the back loop you've come back through the back loop right now when it says weave it through this is basically what you're doing you just go in through underneath the first single crochet and you come out into the chain one space pull through you go over the next single crochet and into the chain space and under the next single crochet and into the chain space and you pull it through when you pull these two together you see it comes in together the whole project will come together so you're waving through just in and out over the single crochets through the chain spaces all the way around till you come to the start to the place that you have come you you started from just go one stitch beyond that and then pull all the pieces together and you'll have had it you'll have it closed to seal it I just suggest you go around again roughly through the same set of stitches all over again 
very roughly once or twice and keep pulling tightly as you go to tighten that opening and you'll have a beautiful sealed finish end with all the stitches coming together really really nicely obviously you won't have all these tails because the tails will be the other end and then you finish it all off all right then you weave this in and you cut off your thread and you'll have a beautiful slouch in two colors very neatly done this looks so cute as it is doesn't it right then i hope you had a creative uh, day today and do remember to subscribe to my videos also do send me your photographs via facebook messenger and i'd love to showcase your work on my facebook page have a great day and i'll see you soon bye bye